Welcome to Iron Man Raid Specialist, featuring Huan Man Raid. The goal of this series is to acquire gear and skills to perfect a Raids 1 Specialist account. Every 75 Raids I can go for 1 of 19 upgrades necessary to build this account, ending at 1500 Soul Raids. Please enjoy episode 23. Wait, he went from... Oh shit, a purple, what the f- Yo, okay. Last item was what? Last item was Twisted Buckler, right? So, uh, yeah, we've been getting a lot of dupes. Let's see if we can break that and get something. <laughs> oh, another dupe, guys. Another dupe. It's dupe central, man. I'm gonna just use the restores and try to spam it and see what I can do. Uh, Alright, we're almost there, though. I think we can do this. Alright, I think we did it. Did we do it? Yes. Okay. I mean, we can still do it, I guess. But that used a lot of supplies. Come on, don't you dare splash on me, please. Oh my god. Yikes, dude. Are you serious? Oh no. Oh, oh my god, I can still do this. That crap got in the way, but it's all good. We got him. Come on. Oh, we died already. Nice, new personal best. I killed it right as uh, I got frozen, so that worked out pretty well. Ah, oh, new setup. Too bad you can't really see uh, the boots. Not sure of the... Oh, what? I just got an onyx. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy moly. Holy shit, dude. That's crazy. I actually need those. That's actually really nice. Okay. I mean, that's gonna make up for uh, 1500 Zora kills with no Onyx, right? By a little bit. Okay. Fuck yeah, buddy. Why the hell not? GG, GG. <laughs> oh man, imagine. Getting an Onyx, man. Alright. Pretty cool. Pretty damn cool. First one. Let's see how many we get, you know, in 1500 rates. Hey, 200 KC, boys. Pretty solid milestone in here. That's a dragon claws pretty much unlocked. Although no crazy use for it yet until uh, TOB. But yeah, it's cool. Well, we can uh, take this out of the uh, the locked section and actually just bring it back. Yikes! Nice stop. Here is an agility level of seventy five. We are getting a lot more while we do raids. I just did a ton of agility at the series cores, and we're gonna get ourselves. Oh yeah, 500 marks of grace. I need it. That should last the uh, I don't know how many raids, but it should be a good amount because I have like almost no stamina's again. Oh, actually, I made it. 84 uh, herbal. What is that? Anti upgraded anti fire potion. What is that? Extended anti fire potions. Oh, that's actually really good. Alright, this one is a pretty monumental level, guys. 74, knocking place magic, burr house. Awesome. So, I was getting on average anywhere from like 6 to 8 burr houses a run with you. So, I wonder how much better the magic one is. I'm gonna go and do a bunch of runs before, you know, I say anything. Just for a decent sample size, but... Oh, nice, I got him stuck. Holy shit, is he just gonna stay there the whole time? I'm gonna just do this so he doesn't randomly get on aggroed. Oh, oh my god, damn it man, that's so dumb. Damn it dude, literally I died because I f***ing drank my extra stamina dose. Woof, I did it, the redemption sake. No, oh no, I can't believe it, I can't believe that shit. I got a purple for dying. Oh no. That's not good. That's not cool, man. I can't believe that shit happened. Come on. Undeserved, you know, undeserved. But it's okay. This this is actually worse than a suicide rating point, so. Because I died at the very end. Here we go, boys. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, arcane prayer scroll. Let's get it. More arcane prayer scrolls. Nani? Oh my god. Jesus Christ. All three of them? 
That was a fast lore. Thanks. Got him. It's a good raid, I guess. The Fispila star was really yikes, though. So, it is time to uh, finalize the next upgrade and uh, after quite a bit of days, you know, of thinking about it. I think the goal is going to be, upcoming future is get the Pegasians at 300 KC and then uh, with the Armada Crossbow, I can also have a good enough gear, I would say, to go and get the Inferno Cape. So probably a 375 is going to be Inferno Cape, so. What? Alright, before I can actually start doing Sarah Domain, I want to get two things done. A lot of bonus to Peaches, and also do Wildy Hard Diary so I can spend more efficient time getting Ecumenical Keys. So the bonus to Peaches is going to take a little bit. Alright, we are just uh, basically done with Telekinetic. Only took about, not even going to lie, like an hour or so to get 200 points. So, Alright, that should be enough, right? Let me see. Is that going to give me 300? Yes, 300. We're done with that. With the help of Rune Light, this took less than two hours, so that's actually really good. Okay, on to the last two. Uh, super easy ones, save the easy ones for last. I just hit 96 magic, hell yeah. Oh, yes, 96. Nice, I unlock a new uh, max hit with the Trident. That's actually really good then. Really nice level. Alright, that was uh, not too bad. Honestly, it took like maybe four hours for all of it. Okay, buy Bones to Peaches, please. Yes. Got it. The uh, biggest prep done for Sarah. All that's left is a diary or two, and that's it. Uh, it's basically the same as groups, bro. Oh, no, what the fuck? Man, I'm so dead. Oh my god, that was so fucking unlucky, dude. Actually, I think I could PB in this raid. It uh, should be possible. I'm already at the last room. I had uh, Tecton, Fossa, right? Crabs, a jury room, and mining room, and that's it. And I do have the supplies to do it. That wasn't a PB, but... Ooh, 76 agility. Oh, whoa, I can use the Zora shortcut, dude. A level already, guys. At the start of the day, 77. Oh, 250 stamina, boys. All that fucking agility. Oh, this is going to be so nice. Oh, wow, look at that. Damn, let's see what I got. 356 stamina 4 doses. Yeah, I'm super ready for Sarah though. Super ready. So the Wildy Diaries are annoying because I have to kill certain bosses and I have to make sure I do that task completely before any other task or else it won't count. So I just waited till really late at night. So yeah, I'm just gonna kill the Chaos Fanatic and the two other demi bosses and the Chaos Elemental. There we go. Oh! Oh my god, that, that is so good. I'm so glad I got this muddy key from uh, the archaeologist because there's actually a diary requirement that I actually do need to open the muddy chest in Lava Maze. Otherwise, I would have had to go kill some Chaos Dwarves, and you know, that might take a while, so heh <laughs> that's awesome. Oh my god, just die already, Scorpio. Goodness, the most annoying of the three bosses. I should keep that on, huh? Alright, well, we got that out of the way. Now, just to finish off the most troll thing ever, that is Chaos Elemental. Oh man, I forgot I had auto Val Smasher, so it kept me with one inventory space. But I completed all the hard diary stuff now. Um, there's a few things I have to do. I have to do between a rock quest because one of them is to make a golden helmet, so I'm gonna finish that at some point. And uh, open up the muddy chest. Those are the last two tasks left. Actually, uh, I have a low alchemy one too. Uh, there we go. Completed all the easy. So all that's left is actually just medium. All right. Anyways, just complete the hard lumberch and drainer tasks. So now I can get my upgraded uh, lumberch ring. So that's gonna be really nice. Alright, I decided to just get this diary out of the way too because I was already almost done and the ring is nice because of that passive extra run. 
I'm gonna use that to prolong my Sarah trip. Also, I can use the ring to out some rune swords or rune kite shields that I'll get. The achievement die rewards, you can just get as many as you want and dropping them, there's really no consequence. So yeah, I'm just gonna get a bunch because to free up some inventory space during the Sarah trip, I'll drop the ring when I don't need it anymore. Alright, take number three. I got the construction levels this time. And I brought my tuna box. Okay, definitely want to have this uh, set up before I do any more God Wars, for sure. Okay, I think that's where we're going to go with for our setup. So pretty much max range accuracy. This is really nice, you know, the Twisted Buckler is going to come in really handy. Um, I'm going to bring a helmet switch just because I don't want to wear a Serp Helm the whole time. That's going to cost me quite a bit of skill. So I'm going to just put this on right at the beginning to poison the minions with the blowpipe guarantee. As for inventory, uh, bones to peach in my pouch, the explorer's ring for the extra run in the aux. Echo key, some range pots. Uh, all the potions are subject to change. You know, I'm gonna adjust accordingly based on the first few trips. But yeah, a few brews, few restores, some prayer. It's all amount of stamina. Hopefully, that'll kill it now. Yeah, first trip was rough as fuck, but we should be good now. Oh my god, that's a terrible way to start Saradom in. Really? A shield left half? 56. So that's 14 kills. You know, 14 kills first trip. Uh, I, I'm i not too displeased with that. That's actually pretty solid, you know? So for those of you guys that watch to learn some tips and tricks, let me show you my way of uh, blowpiping the minions at the start so I can poison them. I stand in this area and then I hit the ranger first and then attack the melee guy. And then I try to create a little bit of space for attack the major so that way Sarah Dumman doesn't like freaking smack me in the face with her sword. You know, it's a big ass sword. The blowpipe will 100% venom these minions if you have your serpent on and you hit more than zero. I was hoping to do better the last trip. I got ambitious and you know brought one more stamina, but but really though, it's just a matter of resource drops RNG. So if I don't get the resources that I need, I can't stay super long. Uh, we're going for a little bit different here. I think the three prayer bonus is probably a bit more important than you know a three range bonus from the Slayer Helm. So we're gonna stick with Natus Knot. I killed it with a blowpipe. Get wrecked. Oh, of course, the loop half of a key. Uh, uncut emerald. Okay, we just hit 100kc at Saradomen. Oh! Oh my god, I got it! <laughs> what? Holy shit! Yo! That's, that's lucky. That is pretty lucky. Oh my god. What? Okay. That's awesome. Should I stay? I think we should stay, yeah. I'll, I'll finish this trip. Holy shit, we got it. Man, it's been a, such a long time since I've last used the uh, Armadale crossbow. Holy crap, man. I'm not used to the uh, attack range of the crossbow anymore. So it's gonna be a little bit of a surprise, you know, I would say, probably. Seeing how far or I can reach. Yeah. Oh my god, the extra 10 range accuracy, dude. You can already feel it, you know, the difference, right? That ra 10 range accuracy is making. So nice. Alright, I'm getting out of here. It was, it was a nice try. Uh, 24 kill trip with ACB. I'll take that, you know. Alright, let's go rack up some more KC so we can uh, unlock our next upgrade, boys. Alright. So, we can finally mock up another item. It's nice that I'm actually able to use a crossbow uh, for a little bit at raids as well. Because that's what's going to be my main, you know, switch if I didn't get a Giant Hunter crossbow. So, if we didn't get lucky on that. One of my favorite rooms to use the ACB is definitely at the Shaman's room. A lot of times both Shamans sees you and it's really annoying trying to blowpipe them when that happens. So instead I put on the ACB and I just walk around the wall and I hit them as I go. That way I can never take any poison damage, never take really any damage, no run energy use, and I can reliably just kill them. The ACP has a long enough distance that I never get really pulled out of the wall, they just kind of follow along me. 
So they never jump, so it's amazing. Other crossbows are a little clunky because sometimes you get pulled away. Unless you're on long range. I can just do on rapid here. Another really cool thing with a crossbow, especially an armed crossbow, is that you can actually drag a shaman near a wall with it and then commence blowpiping it. Because a lot of times, you can't really get a nice position with the blowpipe where the shaman is near a wall. So you can actually create yourself at any point using a crossbow as long as you know how to path the monster correctly. So the ACB makes it pretty easy for that. Starting from this episode forward, I will be preparing for the Inferno Cave. I guess this will be the uh, Inferno Cave chapters of this series. So it's time to grind out those race case seeds and start preparing for it. So, so this is going to be a wild chapter to the Iron Man Ray Specialist series. 